Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. When we last left off, we found the three missing Kikwis, and then we, uh, uh he gave us a slingshot, the Elder gave us a slingshot and told us the Zelda's in the temple in the deeper in the woods, so we made our way to the deeper part of the woods, the deep woods, and now we're going to douse for Zelda over here, and she's in this general direction, so, now, now this area is relatively short, and now all we have to do is just mainly uh, uh, just so we get through there, and once we get to the temple, that's where uh, Zelda is supposedly waiting at. So let's move on. Oh, uh, we got one of these guys. Easy enough. Like blue his little horn, so we got more people to worry about. But luckily, none of them are real hard. There we go. Oh, and we get a little ornamental skull here. Mostly, you get these. It's another collection item, and you get mostly those from <coughs> Bulblicans and stuff like that. I think I told you that already, because that was actually the second one we got, so. And we got another enemy here, so. <coughs> Move. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, so. This area is relatively short. That big white area up there at the top is the uh, temple, so. Uh, this area is relatively short. Here's some slingshot seeds. Make sure. Uh, so that, you mostly get those from like fruits and stuff like that. Now, this part right here, there's a rope. Now, in order for us to get across the rope, we have to hit that beehive to make the bees fall, because if you try to get across there without with the beehive on, we get stunk. So, and we'll fall off ourselves. I mean, uh, I don't know why this is so hard for me to cross here, like, on, like balances and all kind of stuff, but th it's really not too bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Forgot about that guy right there, so. Basically, we're gonna have to either wait for him to move away, like that, like now. Because he shouldn't come back now. Or he could have just tried to stun him. You're not going off yourself, so. Alright. Why well, am I having so, many, so much problems? The world may never know. So. Oh well. We'll get through it, though. But, yeah. Okay. We shouldn't have too much problems now getting across here. Oh. Gah! All right, we're finally across. Okay. Now, just basically, let's get our revenge on this guy. All right. Now we can't get across here because there's a chasm. So what we have to do over here is there's a little ledge right here, and you can just kind of. Hop across, make it a little easier. There we go. Alright, now this part right here, uh, yeah, you definitely need to try to stun this guy. And once he gets stunned, like he is right now, wait till he gets on the rope. And boom. Now these aren't too bad. You just got to shake them off. You do it the way I'm doing, kind of keep falling off, or you can just. Because they'll stick on you. And uh, explode and make you fall off if you. Uh, keep on there while you're trying to walk across so you got to be careful about that too so. all right there's a safe point there if you want to use it if you want to use it which I think I will never can be too cautious so yay they were getting close I could sit there if you needed to regain health, but I don't think I have a reason. 
Look, uh, maybe. Ooh. Uh, yeah, don't hit him with the slingshot, yo. Okay, another Deku bottle. Easy enough. Alright. Make sure it was a. Oh! Make sure you swing a little bit heavier than what I did, or you won't make it across. Alright. So make sure you swing as far as you can. You should be able to barely make it across like that, so. All the time, so much problems there. That would have been. No, there's a face I know. Hey, bird. Oh, it's our Ar Ar Goron guy. But it's a shortcut over here. Oh. Hold up, bird. I need to ask you a favor. I want to do my shortcut. Oh. Hold up, bud. Fine. You have to talk to the guy first. Uh, I tell you, the time of Kanab have been better. Look here, I stumbled into one of these things just now and it looks just like something I've been seeing in those ancient texts. If I remember right. Yep, this is one of those things the goddesses were said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought the name of these things. I've been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How to go again? Let me see. Uh summon forth the life from a heavenly blade. And may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I sense you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try to crack the mystery of this cube together? Sure. Hey, things a billion, bud. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I have wailed on it, but nothing happens. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg is for that one line, you know, the light from a heavenly blade. I right, so will try a shortcut now. Ah. Hey, do not run off. I need your help figuring out the secret of these garbage cubes. Fine, we got to do this honest cube first. Basically, when it says the light from heaven, blaze, it's a scoured strike. And you also need to see the light go and it flies off somewhere. Whatever you know, I don't know. Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think we got to that whirly beam thing that shot off of your sword. And what do you think the cube shot off to? Where the hell? The mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, mysterious. The text say here, there are cubes like that one all over the land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find one about them on the way, you come see me. Did I finally do my shortcut? Thank you. As if you fall off and we need to make a shortcut. But, nothing to it right now. Now, here's another really easy goddess cube to get. There's the temple right there, but if you look right behind you, boom, goddess cube number two right there. Really easy to find. Well, we'll get the, we'll worry about those goddess cubes when we leave this area, but right now, it is time to head to the temple. Master Link, I have detected Zelda's aura emanated from within the structure. Yep, that's the temple that the uh, geek we were talking about. However, I have also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. It would be very unwise to display overconfidence here with the walls in this place. No one ever, no one would come to your aid. Oh, well, I know that already. We got this. If you feel unprepared to face the dangers ahead, consider returning to the sky and prepare your equi properly equip yourself. You can return to Skyloft and go get some stuff. It'd be wise to carry a shield to protect yourself with a stock of potions to restore lost hearts. Now you should continue to search for Zelda. Yep. Let's look around here for a second, though. Oh! Stupid Deku Mama. Leave me alone. Now here's a little, uh thing here. He who descends from the above. Look to the star at the bird raising, rising heavenward gazes upon and aim your shot there. That's actually the clue to enter the temple. Because the doors right now are completely sealed. But to enter the temple you have to uh, If you notice on the door there's a bird looking straight up. Right there. See? 
just aim straight up and there's the uh, a switch up here. Yes, that is a switch. And boom, you hit that switch. And the door mysteriously opens and ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it to our first temple. Is Zelda still in here? What monsters and stuff lie ha oh, 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 uh, ahead of us? Yay, we made it to our first dungeon. And it's not too hard of a dungeon, but but it could be a little bit of a trap for the uh, for a beginner, especially the boss of this area. So you gotta really, really know what you kind of know what you're doing. So anyway, this is called uh, Skyview Temple. So yep. Uh, so we're gonna look around at this temple a little bit. That's is a little bit of a preview. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her down here. We knew that. Given the situation, I suggest you look around and see what we can move, where we should move next. But all right, and yes, there are safe points inside the dungeon. But we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, and it's time finally for our first temple, the Skyview Temple, and see what we can do about finding Zelda. Is Zelda in here? Is everything going to plan? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is DKS3A The Crazy Gamer, signing out.